Uh, there were a couple controversial choices. Um, tell me about why you went with four scrum halves. The squad selection, you want your best 33 players to be there. It doesn't have to necessarily always be three fly-offs or two fly-offs or only three scrum-offs or only two scrum-offs. Your best guys, and, and those were the best guys. That we could have players play multiple positions allows us to have cover. That if one guy goes down, another guy can just slot in. Yes, they would have their primary position that they needed to be able to be world-class at, but we also needed them to be able to operate in another capacity should the situation demand it. Also, training sessions, uh, suddenly now you have 33 players, so if you have two extra nights, then you can practice box kicks or you can, your, your sessions are so much more productive because you can actually have four stations where there's a nine available. We knew that a guy like Grant Williams actually played wing at school. Uh, we knew Gubiscat could stand up at, at, at wing for us. We knew Foff played fly off and he played fly off uh, in, in big games at Super Rugby level. He's played fly off before. So it wasn't something that was a experiment. It's, it, they've played there before. The way we play Play the game and, and because that's familiar to them getting to grips with a, a different position so for us the four scrum offs always there was method in the madness 